When I was in kindergarten, I wanted to be an artist. Every week, I anticipated the one hour a week we spent in art class because I loved coloring and drawing at my desk. My favorite artwork was created when the class listened to a symphony while creating whatever came to mind. Mine was filled with birds flying through the sky with music notes. It won an art award out of hundreds of students, but I remained salty that I was never Artist of the Week. As I got older, my artwork transformed into painting, crafting, knitting, cross-stitching, scratch boards, or any medium that caught my eye. I designed my first page when I was a junior in high school, and I continued to design yearbook pages into my senior year, striving for a unique design on every page. Immediately, I fell in love with making accurate, beautiful, thoughtful designs. 300 published pages and a high school diploma later, I decided to go to Mizzou for print and digital news design. My love for design grew into something that wasn't just about the finished product. It was about the typography and my favorite typefaces, the escape from stress, the slight color changes to make it look just right, the late nights, every minuscule detail that no one will actually notice besides a designer, the opportunity to teach others how to appreciate and evaluate design, the critiques to make my work better than I thought possible, the fourth or fifth redesign of a page that's almost perfect, the constant search for ideas and inspiration, the hours dedicated to each page, and most of all, the rewards and positivity it brings into my life. If I make a design to the best of my ability, I have the chance to make an impact on others. Design is not just drawing or simply making something look pretty. It is about visual communication and creating something to help tell a story for others. When I create a design, I'm telling a story that affects lives and the page deserves a design that doesn't trivialize or sensationalize the story. In the process, critiquing is a necessary evil and you have to be confident in your designs and your beliefs about design. A thoughtful design contains history and character. White space is good space. You can start over every day in newspaper design. Good design doesn't make it harder for the reader to get through the story. Visuals can evoke feelings that words cannot. In the current political environment, jumping into the field as a visual journalist is more important than ever. Telling a story with an impactful design will help readers understand the gravity of the story while effectively communicating the message. When I'm older, I hope I can translate my design skills in other forms of art. Design will be a driving force in my life no matter what my future looks like. Above all, design is not finite. I never run out of possibilities and I never stop learning. This, I believe.